What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing our reformer on the mat lower body class. If we've not met before, hi, I'm Margaret, I'm 26. I'm a certified Pilates instructor. All you need for this class is a small ball and sliders, and we're gonna go ahead and jump right into things. We'll go ahead and get started just by coming into a comfortable seated position. You can sit cross-legged, legs out in front of you, sit in butterfly, wherever you feel good, that is where I want you to go. Take your hands right to the tops of your legs and then give me one big roll of the shoulders to open up through your chest. I want you to feel like your shoulder blades are just sliding down and back. From there, it's four deep breaths. We'll breathe in through the nose, filling the body up with air. And then we'll exhale out through the mouth, let it go. Good. This is gonna be three, big inhale. And then we'll exhale out, let it go. We'll go for two. And then last one, big inhale. And then exhale out, we'll let things go. Awesome. With that last exhale, we're going to come all the way down to our mat, grab onto your ball, and then grab onto your sliders. We'll put the sliders just right next to each other. Your heels are going to come onto the sliders, but don't worry, they're not gonna be going anywhere just yet. We'll lower all the way down so that your hips come down, your head comes down, shoulders come down, and then we'll take the ball just so it comes right in between the uh, inner thighs. From here, don't even worry about moving through the sliders. We're going to plant the feet down on the mat. Plant your hands down on the mat. You'll take an inhale right here, fill up with air. And then exhale, I just want you to squeeze onto the ball. Don't even worry about lifting the hips. Good, inhale, you're gonna release. Exhale, squeeze the ball. Let's do six more like that, inhale. And then exhale, squeeze the ball. For five. For four. Three. For two. And then last one. Good. You'll exhale, squeeze onto that ball. Make sure your hands are reaching down, your shoulders are pressing down. You're gonna exhale, press into the heels, tuck the tailbone under, start to roll up into a bridge. Inhaling at the top, we'll exhale, roll all the way back down. And we'll just keep moving like that. Inhale at the bottom, exhale, press up. Now again, the sliders are not gonna be moving anywhere, so don't worry about it. We're keeping some pressure on the ball. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. It's just a little bit of pressure to help us bring some awareness into the inner thighs, into the pelvic floor, into the low abs. Good. And I know it's super tempting to move through your arms when you take bridges, but I want you to keep your arms pressing down into the mat, spread out through your fingertips. So you're pressing into the fingertips, pressing into the knuckles, pressing into the heels of the hands, the triceps and the shoulders. Let's do four more, four. Good, we'll go for three. For two. And then last one, you're gonna press up and hold it right there. Hold and breathe. We're gonna be doing single leg hamstring curls because I didn't wanna suffer through double leg hamstring curls and have it documented on YouTube because ouch to my self-esteem. We're going to keep the left leg still, keep squeezing onto the ball right here with the right leg. You're going to reach it out and then pull it in. Reach out and then bring it in. That ball should stay right in between the inner thighs. We'll go for four more, four, for three, two, and then last one, right leg comes in, reset, shift your weight to that right side, same thing on the left. You're still pressing down into the upper body, still squeezing on that ball, you inhale, reach out, exhale, pull in, reach out, bring it in. Good, out and in, out and in for four more, four, for three, two, 
And then last one. Good. With that last one, you'll lower the hips all the way down, tap tailbone to the mat. And then for four reps, you press the hips up, inhale, and then exhale, take it down. That's four. We'll go for three. For two. And then last one. Good. With that last one, everything's going to come down, grab onto the ball, put your sliders out of the way because we're going to be doing some single leg stuff. And I don't want you to have to worry about the sliders. We'll keep our left foot down on the mat. You're going to lift that right knee up, taking the ball behind the right knee pit. And you can either flex your foot or you can point your toe. Just make sure you've got a good grip on that ball. Left foot stays down. You'll give me an inhale, press into your heel, exhale. You'll tuck the tailbone under, roll up into your bridge. Inhale at the top, exhale, lower all the way back down, tapping the tailbone to the mat. Let's go for six more, six. For five. For four. Good. Three. Two. And then last one, you'll lift up, hold it right there. We'll take the right leg. You're going to point your toes, tap your toes to the mat, and then exhale, lift back up. Keep squeezing onto that ball. You'll go for four, for three, two, and then last one. Good. Hips lower all the way down. You grab onto the ball. We're just going to swap over to the other side. Right foot down, left knee lifts. You're putting the ball behind that left knee pit. It's not a technical term, but it makes sense when you think about it. Now you can either flex your left foot, point your left toes, whatever you want to do. Right foot goes down on the mat. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, you're pressing into the heel, tucking the tailbone under, rolling up to bridge. Inhale right here. Exhale, you lower it back down. I think we did seven total reps. Let's go for six more. Six. For five. four, three, two, and then last one, you'll press up and hold, taking that left leg, you're going to tap the toes down and then lift back up for four more, four, for three, two, and then last one. Good. With that last one, you lower your hips all the way down. You grab onto the ball, both feet come to the mat, and then just take a second, drop your knees over towards the left, take it up through center, drop your knees over towards the right, up through center. From here, let's walk the feet out a little bit further than the hips, reach the ball up above the chest. Big inhale right here. Exhale, we start to lower the arms down as we lift the head, neck, and shoulders, pressing into the hips, pressing into the heels. You'll roll all the way up. Inhale right here. Exhale, you're going to roll all the way back down. We'll do this three more times. Shoulders down, head down, arms reach back. Big inhale. And then exhale, you roll yourself up. That's three. This is going to be two. Rolling down, shoulders down, head goes down, arms reach back. Big inhale. And then exhale, lift the arms above the shoulders, tuck the chin to the chest, press into the hips, press into the heels. Take it up for one more. Rolling down. Arms reach back, and then we'll take things up. Good. Now, once you bring things all the way back up right there, I'm going to do things a little bit out of order to what I did on um, Monday in the reformer workout, but that's okay. I assume if you're doing this workout, you don't really know what order I did it in and that's perfect. Um, we're just going to pop up into kind of like a tabletop position. You're going to grab onto one of your sliders and let's take that slider. So it goes behind the left foot. Um, Okay. <laughs> From right here, we're going to step our right foot forward. We're going to be coming into a runner's lunge. The ball comes into your left hand and then your right hand just reaches down towards the mat. We'll tuck the toes under onto our slider, those left toes under, and you're going to pop up into your lunge. 
Let's press the slider back. From right here, whoop, all we'll do is, oh my gosh, I need to get the right grip on my slider here. We're just going to, oh, okay. <laughs> Let's see right here. We're going to pull the slider in and then press it back out. You'll pull in and then press out. And that's all it is. Pull it in, press it out, bring it in. We've talked about this before because my, my uh, table is leather. It's kind of hard to get the right kind of slide on it. I'm actually gonna scooch back a little bit, but if you're here, keep going right here. Just pull in, press out. We'll go for four more, four. Three. Oh my gosh. It really does not want to cooperate. I hope your slider's doing better than mine. We'll go for two, come on. And then last one. Oh my gosh. Put your slider back. Keep your hands where they're at. You're going to push the right leg back to straight and then pull things back into your lunge. Push back to straight. Maybe that slider moves and then pull back to lunge. Press back. Pull forward for four more. Four. For three. two, and then last one. Good, everything comes in. We're going to drop our left knee down. Ooh, take a second, roll the ball back with you. Right knee pulls in, take a second. Take a child's pose, breathe. We'll do that same exact thing on the other side, mostly just to get it out of the way. <laughs> Now remember, your slider probably moves a little bit easier than mine, so hopefully you're having an easier time than I am <laughs> um, at home. We'll um, swap the slider so it goes behind the right foot, and maybe I just am using the wrong amount of pressure here. The ball comes into your right hand, left hand goes forward, and then the left foot steps forward. Now we start with our right knee pulling in, hands down on the mat, you're pressing evenly between the right hand and the left. We're going to lift up, put the slider back, and then pull it in, press back, pull it in. Okay, having a better time on this side, press back. I say that and then things go crazy. Pull in, press back. It's hitting the crease in my table, that's what it is. Pull in, press back. We're just going for four more, four, three, two, and then last one. Push that right leg back. You're going to press the left leg to straight, maybe sliding back just a little bit. And then maybe you pull forward, bending at the knee. Maybe the slider moves, maybe it doesn't. Don't worry about it if it doesn't. Press back and then pull forward. Press back, pull forward, press back. I get a little bit of movement on the slider. It's not a lot though, for four more. Back and in for three, two, and then last one. With that last one, right knee drops down. You're going to be pulling the left leg back to meet the right. And then again, a little child's pose. Oh, sliders. <laughs> okay, when you're ready, right here, we're taking the ball with us, we're taking the slider with us. We'll make our way up into a standing position. I don't think my head is getting cut off, but it just might. <laughs> From right here, we'll bring our slider so it comes over to the left foot, and then you're going to take, oh, I forgot what I was doing. We're gonna start off coming into a lunge, but the slider is gonna come to your left foot. Right foot's going to step forward. Let's get the right foot set up first. You're going to lift up into releve on that right side and then slide the ball so it goes underneath your right heel. Now, if you're somebody that really likes to have your ball inflated, you may want to let a little bit of air out of it. Okay, and then very carefully, we're going to reach back for that slider with our left foot. Okay, let's reset right here. Sliding underneath the right heel. All right, get comfy there. 
and then your left foot is going to step back, finding your slider. Okay, from right here, we're, <laughs> we're going to slide up, and then you'll inhale lower down. It's gonna stay super tiny, pull things up. It's just this foot I have a hard time on. And then lower down, press up, lower down. We're not doing a lot, it's gonna be four more, four, for three, two, whoop, and then last one. If my slider will come, it won't, and then slide back. Hold right here, left leg is reaching back, right foot is pressing down, you're pressing into the ball of the foot, pressing into the heel. It's 10 tiny pulses right here. A little lift, little lower, little lift, little lower. We'll go for five, four, three, two, last one. Good. With that last one, you're staying down in the right leg for four more. We're going to pull that slider in, take it back out for three, two, and then last one. Good. With that last one, left foot pulls in to meet the right. You're going to take a second, come up off of the ball on the right side, and then I'm going to flip to you. This one's going to be probably just as dicey as the first. <laughs> we are going to try it. Let's take a slight little turnout of the toes. You're going to lift up again onto the right heel. I'm actually going to take some air out of my ball right here. Same deal. You're lifting up so that the right heel is elevated. You're going to find a little, um, almost like a sumo stance with your leg. So the knee is turned out, your hip is pulled away from your knee, and then you take the slider to the left foot. From here, we pull the slider in and you're going to press it out. Bring it in, press it out, in and out. Little in, little out. I'm trying to be like as light as I can on the slider, but still get enough pressure that I'm able to move it. We're just going for four more, four, for three, two, and then last one. Good, you're putting that left leg out, pushing into the right heel. Again, it's 10 tiny pulses, little lift, little lower for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to put, oh my gosh, put the left leg down and then carefully come off of the ball on the right side. Um, I should have said at the beginning of this, if the ball underneath the heel is not for you, just hold on to the ball. Same thing without it. You don't need to do it, but, <laughs> but we did it in the reformer workout, so we're going to try our best to do it here. Um, we're just doing that same thing over on the other side, okay? So slide your slider over to the right foot. Left foot's going to step forward. We'll start off taking our lunge and we should have enough room right here. Actually, let me scooch forward. Whew. My right leg is like shaking uncontrollably. So if you did this on the first side, I'm amazed by you. You're amazing. We're going to come up onto the toes on the left side, sliding the ball underneath the left heel. Now the only bad part here is that we don't have anything to reach onto for support like we had on the reformer, okay? But that's okay. Okay, you press down into the ball, it will support you, I promise. Get your bearings right here, and then we'll take that right leg. You're going to slide it back, and then bring it up. Slide it back, bring it up. If you have something you can reach onto around you for extra support, go ahead and reach for it. Back, and up, back and up. Now, if you saw me do this right away and you're like, no way in hell am I doing that? Again, just ditch the ball <laughs> for four more, for three, two, woo. And then last one, you're going to stay down into your lunge, press into the left side, 10 tiny pulses, little lift, little lower for nine, for eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one, press down into that left side for four reps. You pull the left leg in, sorry, the right leg in, slide it back out for three, for two, and then last one. And if you lose the slider, it's okay. We're going to pull that right foot in, take a second, take a breath. I know it's tough to be up in releve, especially with the ball underneath you. So just take as much time as you need to. And this might be something that you work up to. That's fine, okay? I know I'm coming in hot, coming in crazy right out the gate, but sometimes that's just what you have to do. <laughs> turn to face me. We're gonna do a slight turn out of the toes, so toes out, heels in. And then again, you're coming up onto the toes on the left side, sliding the ball underneath the left heel. Now, maybe that happens with a lot of ease. Maybe it doesn't. You're gonna get down to squat, keeping your slider underneath those right toes. Okay, you'll take your right foot. Let's see, will it do it for me? We're gonna slide out, pull in, slide out, pull in. Now your hip is pulling away from your knee, out and in, out and in. For four more, four, for three, two, and then last one. Good. Oh, I forgot. Slide your right leg back out. Hold it right there. Pressing into the left side. We pulse 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one. You stand all the way up very carefully. Grab onto the ball. You're just going to put it off to the side. Take your sliders toss them off to the side, and then make your way to the back of your mat, wherever you want that to be. Feet a little bit wider than the hips. We're just gonna take an inhale, roll the shoulders down and back, and then exhale, you'll hinge forward at the hips, reaching down for your feet or for the mat. Pause right here, we'll inhale, bend at the knees, nice deep squat. Exhale, press into the heels, two straight legs. For two more, we bend and then press. Last one, we'll bend and press. Good, with that last one, let's just walk ourselves out to plank. Once you hit that plank, knees drop down, feet go back. We're going to shift the hips all the way back to the heels, finding a child's pose. And then you'll inhale, just pull forward back to tabletop. For three more, shifting back, pulling forward for two, And then last one. Good, with that last one, again, let's just press back to child's pose, arms long in front of you, big inhale. And then exhale, we can let it go. You'll start to walk your hands in towards your knees, bringing yourself up to a seated position. Legs come out from underneath you. Let's take a figure four, hips go down, feet in front of you, right foot down, left ankle over the top of the knee. I know that standing series is a little bit wild. It really is, I know that. The nice thing about doing that on the reformer is that you get a little bit of support from the spring load. The not nice thing about doing it off of the reformer is that there is no support and there is nothing to grab onto. So if you struggled with that, but you tried to make it through, that's awesome and I'm happy for y'all. Okay, if you knew right away that the ball was not gonna go underneath your heel, good on you. When you're ready, we're just going to uncross that left side, crossing the right ankle over the top of the knee. And hopefully you guys have better surfaces to slide across than I do. I'm kind of excited to uh, move into our new place in Chicago. We'll be there, let's see. I think you'll have one more week of workouts here and then we get to the new place and I'm planning on having a rug in there. So um, the setup will be a little bit different but it will be a little bit better for the sliders which will be very nice. All right, when you're ready, uncross that right ankle, slide both of your legs out to straight. We'll take a big inhale, reach the arms up and around, and then exhale, you'll hinge at the hips, forward fold, coming down towards the feet. Big inhale, and then we'll exhale, let it go. 
When you're ready, just walk yourself all the way back up to seated, take any other stretches you feel like you need and you're all finished for the day. Hopefully you enjoyed this workout. Hopefully you made it through that standing slider slash mini ball series. If you did enjoy this workout, please let me know. Remember we're doing reformer on the mat forever for as long as I see fit, which is probably gonna be a long time. So I am very hopeful that you guys like these workouts. Uh, remember, you're awesome. You can do anything you put your mind to, and I'll see you in our next video. I just can't resist you.